Lecture two, introduction to computer systems, architecture of computer systems. Plan consists of review of computer systems, evolution of computer systems, architecture and components of computer systems, use of computer systems, data representation in computer systems. Review of computer systems. A computer is a general purpose device which can be programmed to carry out a finite set of arithmetic and logical operations. Since the sequence of operation can be readily changed, the computer can solve more than one kind of problem. A computer is its most basic and machine which can take instruction and perform computation based on those instructions. A computer is an electronic device which is capable of receiving the inputs data from the user, storing it for a desired period of time, manipulating it according to the set of instructions called program, and producing the output to the user in desired form, it performs a variety of operations according to the set of instructions. Since the computer is man-made digital electronic devices, it has a physical structure with several parts, like the monitor, processor, mouse, and keyboard, which are tangible. They are called hardware. The set of instructions, which are also called the hardware what to do and how to do accomplish some tasks expected to, by the user to get done by the computer. Computer systems are divided into software and hardware. One of the characteristics of computer is the storage. The computer has a built uh, memory which can store a large amount of data. This is called primary storage. This primary storage has a limited capacity, but it's very important as a processing unit of the computer. Connect directly only on instruction and data on the primary storage. But you can also store data in the secondary storage devices, such as floppies, which can be kept outside your computer. It can be carried to the other computers. These are called secondary storage. Before the computer can process the data stored in secondary storage devices, the data must be moved from secondary storage devices to primary storage. Evolution of computer systems. These computers uh, come in many sizes and shapes that perform different functions, which is useful in our daily lives. You are using a type of computer even when you withdraw cash from a automatic teller machine or skin groceries at the shop or use a calculator. Different types of personal computers. Uh, personal computer mostly referred to the PC in the community is designed uh, as a more user-friendly device to be directly used by the end user rather having a special skilled separate computer operator. Desktop PCs. Usually the desktop computers are placed in a fixed location and name has derived is intended to be sitting on the top of desk. A monitor, mouse, and keyboard can be seen as part of typical desktop computer. Laptop computers. Laptops are similar to desktop PCs in operation, but designed for mobile use. Capable of operating on the battery power, and the battery can be charged with external power adapter. In a built keyboard, liquid crystal display unit, LCD screen, a touchpad, also known as trackpad, Tracked with the mouse are the commonly seen components. However, a mouse can be also used instead of touchpad. Laptops are obviously smaller in size and weight less than the desktop PCs. Therefore, it is difficult to access external hardware, thus difficult to upgrade as much as desktop. PDS. Personal digital assistants are handheld computers, which are also called Pelton computers, due to size, which is more enough to keep it on your palm. Most of PDAs are pen-based and come with stylus, it's a writing pen, to be used as an input device which is sensitive to its touch screen. Most of them can access the internet by means of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi facilities. PDAs allow to organize your personal business work and manage your tasks through its facilities. Wearable computers. The computers that can be warm on the body are known as wearable computers. There is a constant interaction between the computer and user. These computers are mostly used to track human actions when the hands and other sensory organs are engaged in other activities and used with applications such as behavioral modeling systems and healthcare monitoring systems. Tablets. Tablets are mobile computers larger than PDS and smaller than laptops described above. 
usually operated by the touch screen and no formal keyboard are used. The people using them uh, spend most of their time outside and would not have access to a keyboard or mouse. What is a computer hardware? You are all there aware that a computer system is made up of several different components. This can be seen in touch are referred to the computer hardware. In other words, the physical equipment that are involved in the function of computer are called its hardware. The computer hardware is typically divided into four main categories. Processing devices, memory devices, input-output devices, and storage devices. Processing devices. The central processing unit is an electronic device which runs computer programs with a set of sequ sequential instructions. It's also called as a computer processor or the brains of the computer. There are two major components, namely the control unit and the arithmetical and logical unit. Memory device. Computer memory. Health is stored in the computer as a group of zeros and ones called a byte. The size of memory is measured by the number of bytes available. The following equalities give the measured units of the memory. 8 bits is uh, 1 byte. 1024 bytes is uh, 1 kilobyte. 1024 kilobytes is uh, 1 megabyte. 1024 megabyte is 1 gigabyte. And 1024 gigabyte is 1 terabyte. <coughs> Uh, the random access memory is a volatile form of computer memory. This small memory is capable of memorizing temporarily. It can be read and written. That is, uh, you can both write data into RAM and read data from RAM. Read only memory. If the RAM, as RAM is a volatile, the computers need a non volatile memory to read larger programs. This is known as a read only memory. The programs which are needed to start up your computer, for example, to boot the computer, are stored in ROM. Input devices. A computer executes an instruction and processes data into information and stores the information for future use. Input devices are used to enter instructions and data into the computer. What is the input? Input is any data of instruction or instructions you enter to the memory of computer. Data. Data is a collection of un unorganized uh, facts that can include words, numbers, pictures, sounds, and videos. Program. A program is a series of instructions that tells the computer how to perform the tasks necessary to process data into information. Command. A command is instruction given to a computer program. Commands can be issued by typing keywords or pressing special keys on the keyboard. A keyword is a specific word, phrase, or code that the program understands as instruction. Input devices. An input device is any hard hardware component that allows you to enter data, programs, commands, and user response into a computer. Some of the commonly used input devices are listed below, like keyboard, mouse, scanner, trackball, joystick, touchpad, light pen, webcam, barcode, machine. Output devices. An output device is any computer component capable of conveying information to the user. Some commonly used output devices are listed below, like monitor, printer, plotter, speakers, and headphones. Storage devices. Storage refers to the media on which data, instructions, and information are kept, as well as the devices that record and retrieve these items. In this section, we will discuss about the storage media and storage devices. Hard disk. Hard disk drive, which is often referred to as a hard disk or hard drive, is a device to store and retrieve data in the computer. The hard drive can store important systems files like the operating system, program files, and other data. The system unit. The system unit of computer is the box-like casing which, which contains the major electronic components that are responsible for the main function of the computer. This erroneous reference may be due to the central personal unit, the brain of the computer being that significant. However, the electronic device such as central personal unit, memory, hard disk drive are located inside the system unit. In addition, uh, to the above parts, 
uh, motherboard, floppy, disk drive, power supply unit, and CD drum, CD drum drive. Uh, the other auto, uh, other major components that you can find within system unit. Motherboard. The motherboard is sometimes called the system board, planar board, or main board. It is the main circuit board of computer. Power supply unit. Power supply unit is another very important unit found in the system unit. Usually we connect the power cord of the computer to the domestic main supply. CD-ROM drive. The CD-ROM drive is a high capacity optical data storage devices which is removable disk and writes data into onto or reads data from a several from a storage medium. This is short question for the lecture.